All right, so this morning, Global got a brand new data download. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at everything that we got. Now, before we get into it, I wanna give a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting these assets. As always, if you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And uh, with that said, let's scroll down a bit here and start with the promo video for the upcoming Dokkan Fest AGL Transforming Trunks. Let me just pause my music real quick. We'll full screen this and enjoy. Come at me with everything you've got. Goku isn't the only Super Saiyan. There's another one right here. And there you have it. AGL transforming Super Saiyan Teen Trunks is coming, guys. I know the uh, sentiment on him is a little bit mixed. Some people really just don't care and are already planning to skip this banner completely, while others are very excited, like me, because this guy is probably one of my favorite moments, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like the animations represent one of my favorite moments in the entire uh, Dragon Ball Z franchise because I don't know man there was just something so badass about the way that Trunks showed up after you know Goku took forever to take down Frieza and this guy just goes Super Saiyan in like a second and then just slashes the crap out of Frieza like it's nothing um it was dope so yeah I'm definitely gonna be going for him even if I know that we have much better things around the corner. But anyways, uh, that's the promo video. Let's take a look at the other assets here. We have some uh, assets for, of course, the Teen Trunks himself. This is his SSR form. There's the TUR. And this is his transformed Super Saiyan state. And then from there, we also have a side unit, which is this Fizz uh, Super Saiyan Heart Virus Goku. So we have the SSR as well as the TUR. And there is the Dokkan Awakening Medal for the Trunks himself, as well as the Goku, actually. And uh, we have a few new Extreme Z Awakenings. This is the Extreme Z area for the uh, Tech Future 17 and also the uh, is it SDR. Yeah, SDR Future 18. So these are the 17th medals, as you can see. And then we also have the uh, 18th medals. And then from there, we also have two Extreme Z Awakenings for the Tech Super Saiyan Future Trunks, which is this guy, and also the STR Zamasu, who desperately needs this EZA. And uh, all of these are dropping on the 1st, I believe. Let's see. Uh, yeah, March 1st for these, and then also March 1st for these. And for the Trunks and Goku, it's also March 1st. So basically, all this stuff comes out at the beginning of the month. Uh, March, that is. And scrolling down a bit more, we have, let's see, a new Super Battle Road stage. This is stage 53 for Sibling Spawn. Once again, they're still releasing one stage at a time as opposed to a full set. And um, I guess it's fine because this means we do get more regular Super Battle Road stage uh, releases, even though it's more fun to get a bunch at once. Um, I guess this is better. I'm not sure, but either way, yeah, stage 53 is coming, Siblings Bond is the stage for Super Battle Road, and uh, we also have a couple of Dokkan Festival tickets, or rather just one Dokkan Festival ticket for the Trunks banner, and uh, these will be available for purchase in the Baba Shop, sorry, not the Baba Shop, the Stone, Dragonstone Shop, slash the Pack Shop. Anyways, yeah, we got Dokkan Festival tickets, which has become a norm for basically every single banner. Um, you know, we got the Dokkan Festival tickets for the Dokkan Fest, we have the Legendary Summon tickets for the Legendary Summons, and so on and so forth. Um, honestly, as a pay-to-play -play player, I kind of like this, because it allows me to, you know, sometimes save my stones for, uh, you know, other things that are more worth spending stones on. I can just, like, buy a few packs, use some tickets, and sometimes I can actually pull the new unit with the tickets on the last time I bought all the packs spent all the tickets 
and still had to use stones because I didn't get them, you know, the new unit in the tickets. And then the stones also didn't get me the new unit either. So that was just a bad time. But anyways, uh, Dokkan Festival tickets as expected. Super Batterhood stage, some Extreme Z Awakenings for two summonable units and two uh, free to play units. And then the, uh, you know, Fizz Goku and AGL Trunks. And that basically does it for the status island, guys. Oh, also, they are adding the Entrusted Will mission to the new Infinite Dragon Ball History stage. It was missing on Global because obviously we didn't have a leader for that category, or actually we didn't have the category at all um, on Global since we didn't have the Trunks. But now we have the Trunks, who is the leader for Entrusted Will, who will be getting that mission for the uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History stage as well. So there's that. And uh, real quick, before we go, let's just check out the details for this AGL Trunks in case you guys are not aware about what he does. He is a beast. He is very, very good. Uh, leader skill is Entrusted Will or Android slash Stealth Saga categories. E plus 3, HP plus 130%, and Attack and Defense plus 170%. Super Attack raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And Passive is Attack and Defense plus 100% plus an additional Attack and Defense plus 100% when attacking. Great chance of launching up to two additional attacks. Launches another additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack every time the character attacks three times in battle up to once within the turn. His active skill is transformation and it stuns a single targeted enemy and seals that enemy super attack for one turn and it can be activated uh, after performing six or more attacks in battle once only. And his links are Messenger from the Future, Cold Judgment, Rail Lineage, the Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, and categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Vegeta's Family, Android Slash Cell Saga, Bottom Master, Disciple, Saviors, uh, Battle of Wits, Super Saiyan, Transformation Boost, and Entrusted Will. And his additional attack boost when attacking is calculated separately for a total attack boost, or sorry, for a total boost of attack and defense plus 300%. When attacking which obviously is very significant he hits hard he gets a lot of defense when attacking so that is the um base trunks and then once he goes super sane with the active skill his super attack becomes greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage and his passive is attack and defense plus a hundred percent and great chance to perform a critical hit performs a critical hit once only plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack plus an additional attack plus 50% when the target enemy is in attack down status or in defense down status plus an additional attack plus 50% when the target enemy is stunned or the target enemy super attack is sealed high chance to stun the attacked enemy for two turns when all allies Attacking in the same turn are Andrus slash Cell Saga category characters. And uh, his links become Messenger from the Future, College of Judgment, Royal Lineage, the Saiyan Lineage, Super Saiyan, the Saiyan Lineage, Super Saiyan, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle. So uh, essentially the only links that uh, wait hold on. Yeah, the only link that changes is Super Saiyan. And uh, of course categories stay the same. And uh, as you can see, his additional boosts are calcul calculated separately for a total attack boost of attack and defense plus 300% when performing super attack, plus an additional boost of up to 400% attack when the target enemy is in attack down status or in defense down status, plus an additional boost of up to 500% when the target enemy is stunned or the target enemy's super attack is sealed. So, depending on the enemy status, uh, this guy can get a stupid amount of attack, and his defense is going to be good as well. And of course, the guaranteed crits, man. The guaranteed crits are pretty ridiculous. Just like his dad. Just like the STR Super Vegeta. So, uh, like I said, this Trunks is a monster. He is extremely good. And even though his banner might not be the best, unless they include the STR Super Vegeta, which would be a game changer. We'll see. But for now, as far as we know, his banner is not the best, but this guy's awesome. So it's it's kind of tough to like completely skip it. But obviously, if you guys don't care about Trunks, if the animations don't mean that much to you, then 
it's not a big deal, but it does mean a lot to me, so you'll definitely see at least one or two summoning videos on the channel for this guy. And uh, that's all I really got to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That is the data download for today. A big shout out once again to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter. Go follow him, guys. I mean it. And uh, yeah, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.